everybody's sibling power here, and as you may see for some of the older viewers, we are re we are return. We have the return here. Sorry, I said that wrong. Of Tom the Sorcerer. And you may be wondering, is this a mod showcase? No, my friends, it is not a mod showcase. For it is, in fact, a snapshot showcase. Yes, the newest snapshot has been released. And the funny part about the newest snapshot being released is, ooh, never looked through this at the book. That looks weird. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so the funny thing about this is yesterday when I was recording, I had lag issues and the skin servers were down, and I said, oh, maybe they're working on a snapshot. Yeah, apparently, apparently so. Uh, cause, the, uh, so yeah. Tom, take notes. Remember, that's your job. All right. So let's go ahead and look at the snapshot showcase, and it's quite a bit, quite a bit to look at. So uh, let's go ahead and look at blocks, since these probably are the first thing you, that caught your eye. Uh, and right here, I have the name of all of the new blocks. So we've got here a new type of block called Purr Purr. What? It's like a cat. <laughs> purr, purr. Yeah. Okay, but apparently purper is a new block. So we're uh, there's a purper block, purper pillar, purper stairs, and purper slabs, and a new one and stone bricks. Uh, which uh, if you follow log dot zip, uh, then you'll know that they they were gonna they were planning on adding ender dungeons. So I'm gonna check out to see if they actually got that uh, done in the snapshot. But so I have a portal. I'm gonna save that for later. Uh, and end rod right here. I don't know what this does. It looks. It was found in uh, decoration, uh, which means that it likely has a use, since a lot of the things in there have a use. But I don't know what that use is. Uh, right in here, we have a dragon head, a new head. I'm wondering how you would get this. Uh, maybe defeating the dragon, because apparently in the uh, new version in 1.9, you'll be able to defeat the Ender Dragon multiple times, and this could possibly be a uh, reward. Uh, for defeating the ender dragon you get yourself an extra trophy aside from just the dragon egg uh, and of course the chorus plant uh, which is a new plant they were adding and that's going to be found in the end and it can only be planted on end stone uh, so yeah uh, right here I'm gonna go over what's perhaps the most um, like the most finished uh, new uh, thing and that is the new kinds of arrows so, from what I've noticed, these are the most finished aspect of the game. I'm going to actually grab myself out zombies to test these on. And so, yeah. Uh, first thing I'm going to show off is the bow now has a new animation. Uh, I believe, it does it do the animation in third? It doesn't do it in third person. No, the animation for third person hasn't changed. But if you look on my hot bar, the bow now pulls back. It, it's, it's a little feature. Look at that feature. And it fires arrows. If you don't have an arrow in your inventory, it's going to fire normal arrows because I'm in creative mode. Uh, however, now from creative mode, you can dictate which arrow is being fired since there are now many arrows. Now, I can't pull these from their things because it always just pulls out water bottle tipped arrow. I don't understand what that is. Uh, but yeah, so it, I think it's a bug with, um, with, the, with the arrows. So uh, it does work on spectral arrow though, as you may saw. So the new I so one of the new items is called spectral arrow, and I am going to uh, time set uh, night for this one zero zero zero. Boop. All right. So we're gonna make it di dark out because we're gonna need to have zombies running. So as you may see here, is it no? Don't don't hurt Tom. Don't hurt Tom. All right. So th he's actually in a good place. So if I go ahead and I shoot a zombie with a spectral arrow, the new spectral arrow will make it so that you can see a mob through walls. Yeah, and it will highlight that mob. And of course you can do that. Now the spectral arrows themselves do not have a texture yet. They are appear as an untextured block when fired. Um, but pretty coolly they will highlight anything uh, with sheep. They only highlight the main sheep because wool is not classified as part of a sheep. I don't know if you guys knew that. Wool is actually a separate entity. But anyway, so <clears throat> if we go over here, you may have noticed all these other kinds of new arrows, and that is that they added potion effect arrows, and these are all of them. Uh, so, potion of night vision, potion of fire, healing. You can heal a mob. 
I don't understand how this would work. But apparently, to a zombie, I know that it would do extra whoa. To a zombie, I'm pretty sure that would do extra damage. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think to a mob that can benefit from healing, would that just never kill them? Because they're getting... Nope, that would instant kill them. What the heck? Uh, apparently... So, oh, maybe it's because sheep are weak. No? Okay, I don't understand that. Maybe it only works on players. But uh, there you can make uh, healing. Healing arrows. You can make, what the coolest one, invisibility arrows. Because you can just hit a mob. And, oh, wait. Doesn't work on sheep because they have too little health. Work on pigs. Uh, no. Oh, we're firing spectral arrows. That's what's going on. Okay. So, that's one of the aspects, is that, uh, when you're in creative mode, and I imagine this would work out for survival mode as well, um, and that is, whichever arrow is closest to the bow is what you will fire. So, if I swap these out, I will now be firing invisibility arrows, and that sheep, and that pig is not dead. He is, in fact, invisible, as you can tell from the particle effects. Uh, and you may have seen that skeleton. I'm getting to that. Uh, okay. So let's go ahead and um, time set five zero zero zero, and we're going to turn it back to middle of the day. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the uh, new bow. You can have now potion effects on your arrows. Uh, over here we have a new food. We have beetroot, um, and yeah, so beetroot, beetroot. It, it's beets essentially. So you can get beetroot, and apparently you can make beetroot soup. And if we go over here, we can look at the stages of growth for beet root. Uh, so from the looks of it, it starts out looking like any other plant. And when you bone meal it, it steadily grows slightly larger. And eventually it becomes, it looks like carrots, pretty much all stages except the end. And then it becomes like this reddish, reddish thing underneath it. It takes a lot of bone meal. Good God. Alright, so there we are. So we can get beetroot, and I imagine in survival mode you would break this. Uh, actually, we can test that in game mode S here. And you can get yourself some beetroot. Yep. That, that's how you get beetroot. And I imagine, can you make beetroot seeds? Oh, yes. Uh, this is uh, a change to the HUD. Um... This is a, a shield slot apparently, although I doesn't I don't seem to be able to use it yet since shields had do not seem to have been implemented. So they're apparently uh, working on that. This is just a snapshot. Not every aspect you see here might be in the actual 1.9 update, but um, they they are testing all their stuff. So yeah, that that's pretty much what this is. Now if I get a crafting table, can I make beetroot seeds from beetroot? No, I can make rose red dye. Interesting. Okay, so beetroots can become rose red dye, and I don't know what the crafting recipe for beetroot soup is yet. That might be a thing. All right, so if we go over here, as I said, the new chorus will have chorus fruit and popped chorus fruit. Oh, popped chorus fruit. That make, Is that like... Hold on a second. Now I want to test this. Is that what I think it is? If that's what I think it is, that is amazing. All right. So, cook it. Oh my god, it's cooking. Can we make popcorn? <laughs> we can make Minecraft version of popcorn. Oh my god. Yes, it is popcorn. Alright, so apparently Chorus is popcorn. Uh, you can make popcorn. Awesome. Chorus. <laughs> but yeah. So now, finally, we're going to check out the changes to mobs. One new mob that we're going to be uh, welcoming into the Minecraft cast. And we're going to check out a change to a skeleton, which you may have seen a little glimpse of while I was running around playing with arrows. Alright, so this one, we also will have to set, actually we already did this once, so we can just do it again. Uh, okay, so first we have the shulker. I don't know. Um, this one does something to you if you are in survival mode, and I think, can I test it? I'll, I'll, I'll test it later. <laughs> I'll test it when I get armor on. Actually, let's kill it. It has a lot of health. Good God. I know it's a mob you can find in the end, It's and apparently it sucks. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's go ahead and put some armor on, and I will test out what the shulker actually does to you. Uh, and then we're going to go into game mode S here. Does the shulker do anything? Yet? Oh, wait. He's mad. Oh, yes. Okay, so he is ready. So this particle effect, apparently, uh, it, when it hits you, it does something. It might not actually do. Oh, yes, it does. Levitation. 
Okay, yes, it throws you up into the air and makes you levitate. Oh, land on this block, please. Uh, oh, yeah. So it sends you up into the air, and from and as you can see, its particle effect, its, its projectile can only travel along X and Y axes, so which means you can make it, can I make it hit the shulker itself? No, no, <laughs> oh God, please, 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 no, please, don't kill me. All right, so what we're gonna do is oh god, levitation. <laughs> well, this would suck if you didn't have feather falling. Also, apparently, a potion effects are being shown up in the. Yep. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm well out of range of the shulker now, but the um, thing is, I'm kind of traveling into space. Creeper is also mad. Ow. Thank you for that. <laughs> can't have the mobs teaming up here. Okay, so let me go see if I can actually kill this thing and I would I would be uh pretty amazed if I could. Oh god, please, please no. Okay, so I have to like jump around it. Okay, okay, the, okay. So um yeah, that's the shulker. Oh my god. That thing sucks. Um All right. And uh, finally, the skeleton, which actually I only need to show one thing, because the skeleton doesn't really change much. Alright, so if I go into Game Mode S here, you'll see the skeleton now has a bow animation, and its arms are now at its sides while it's trying to do an animation. Doesn't look like they got the animation down yet, but now the skeleton will try and fire, it will actually, like, fire its bow properly. And it walks. Let me see if I can get it to walk at me with its arms down. Oh, you shot out the chorus fruit, you jerk. Get out of here. All right, so it's still a normal skeleton. It still drops what it normally drops. All right, so that's pretty much uh, every aspect of uh, this mod. Nick, chorus, please go back in your thing. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if any of the changes have yet been, implement it have been implemented to the end. And I left this one up for uh, judgment because I don't because I don't want to have to defeat the Ender Dragon. Let's go. Uh, so, well, we're underground. That's nothing new. All right. So it doesn't look like any changes have yet been implemented to the end. The end does appear to be pretty. Oh wait, some of them have. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's gonna suck. Um, but yeah, some of these crystals uh, are now apparently in cages and I don't see an ender dragon I see an empty thing okay so they have changed the end but they don't seem to have done yeah okay I don't know what's happened although this is definitely new so yeah there is a new setup yeah, there's definitely a new setup here it's all circular and around the uh, center yeah, circle and around the center. That is a new thing. But I don't see what else. Okay, so <coughs> there must be something new they're planning to do at the end that they haven't yet done in this snapshot. But um, but yeah, so this this looks cool though. I mean, I like it. it it's fun. Let's go punch these. Ow. Uh, that would hurt in survival mode. And actually, in these, you'd have to do that. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna suck, in it? Oh, also, these are on fire now. Fun. Um, alright, so. Uh, I think I'm gonna end off the video here, guys. I have no way back home, so I kinda have to. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos, and remember that this is a snapshot. Not everything you see will be in 1.9, but this is a testing ground for the aspects that could be in 1.9. And uh, some of this stuff does look really cool. Uh, I, I really hope that they bring over all those arrows. I mean, they did work. They did do a lot of work on them, so I think they probably will. But you know, some things do get cut. So yeah, I uh, hope you have enjoyed this video, and I will see everyone in the next video. A uh, goodbye, everyone. All right, guys. So quick little edit I'd like to add in. I actually figured out that this slot does actually work with some items. So, shields have not yet been implemented, so we can't use it for what it's intended for. However, uh, using other items in it does work. Items with a right-click function, mainly. Uh, so, as you can see, they'll appear up on the other side of your screen, similar to the Battle Gear mod. 
Uh, and unfortunately, from what I notice, said uh, such thing does not work if I go into game mode S here. It does not seem to work with swords yet, because swords have a right click function, which I hear that they are actually removing in 1.9. But uh, because of the swords block function, uh, it doesn't work with swords. However, items that don't have a right click function, you can actually use the uh, opposite. You can actually use the item that you have right clicked, such as your fist, if you don't have something, or a pickaxe. So yeah, you can actually use uh, an item's right click function. Let's say we wanted to, uh, we hated this tree. Yep, yep, there we are, tree's gone, tree's gonna burn now. Uh, but yeah, so uh, apparently items with the right click function uh, will allow for that to happen. And one of the cool features I think would be is when you go mining. You can of course go mining, you can break all your, all the stone you want, and then you want, then you see it's dark, right click and you place your torch down and the torch is not actually you don't actually have to switch so yeah at the moment that's about the only cool thing you can do with the slot because uh, the swords aren't ready yet but uh, yeah certainly uh, certainly interesting also uh, of course you can uh, use items other well other items let's just say we want to get out of here we can put our torch down and walk out and of course this will work also for snowballs though you really don't have a purpose for these uh... and let's say you do want to fight uh... and you're in this snapshot and you want to use something useful like ender pearls you can use your axe to fight because axes do one less damage than swords so they can be quite useful if you don't have your sword ready uh... but yeah you can also right click to throw your ender pearls take your damage and uh... get out of there Raboosh. Yeah, so, yeah, pretty much any item with a right-click function um, that does and that and uh, that doesn't have a right-click function here uh, will work. And if you try and put a sword in that hand, it does just block with the sword. It doesn't actually swing with the sword. Uh, also, yeah, I did. I I don't know if I mentioned that everything with this slot functions off of right-click, which means that it's the item's right-click function. But yeah. So pretty much it's just, it's a, at the moment it's a cool little slot, um, and I forgot to include it in the video, so I'm recording it afterward, and I'm going to just stick it in in editing. So yeah guys, uh, hope you have enjoyed this video, and goodbye everyone.